Om Shanti and very welcome to you. We are here with today that is 3rd of August what you're saying. Supreme Father wants us to be away or wants us to overcome jealousy and comparison and being disheartened with ourselves. So this complete vardhan or blessing is about that. God says may you be constantly happy hearted and remain free from being disheartened or jealous by merging all the treasures in yourself. So when we have treasures in the world, when we have property, we have, when we have money, when we have other things in our life, we generally tend to compare it with others. Let's say your property is smaller than the other person, then you are sad. If your property is bigger than the other person, then uh, you are more content and egoistic and uh, full of pride. So God says that is only temporary. But what I give you through meditation, the infinite love, happiness, joy, which cannot be given by any worldly thing. If you take that from me in meditation, then automatically your power is increased and your jealousy is reduced. You don't need to compare yourself with anybody else, your neighbors or anyone. So God, that's why God says, may you be constantly happy hearted and remain free from being disheartened or jealousy by merging all the treasures in yourself. Bab Dada has given all of you children all the treasures equally. So we get the only equally. We get to meditate on him equally. God says that I am available for billions and billions of souls. You just have to remember me and take my love and peace and happiness. I'm so infinite. But we take it or not, that's up to us. But some are unable to accommodate those attainments in themselves. That means you take the love and peace and happiness and then you go out for your work, daily work, and you see a situation, you get angry. Peace is gone. You get jealous, happiness is gone. So we have taken love and peace and happiness from God, but in our karma, we use negative traits of Ravan or Shaitan and he takes away our peace and happiness. So God says, but some are unable to accommodate those attainments in themselves, nor are able to use them on time. So they do not see success and they then become disheartened with themselves. So when a situation comes you to peace and you're supposed to be peacefully uh, taking care of those situations and peacefully moving in that direction of peace and solving the situations, but what happens? We take it the opposite direction. They think that perhaps their fortune is like that. So once they take love and peace and happiness, they get angry, they get egoistic, jealous, they drain themselves out. Again they meditate, again they drain themselves out by using these negative traits. And then say they say that, oh, maybe I'm not worth it or my fortune is like that. God says it's just a lack of practice, nothing else. Then seeing the specialities and fortune of others, then they see other people, look at him, look at her, they're moving so fast, they're moving so better. They become jealous then because they are not happy with themselves, so automatically they start comparing. When they compare, the jealousy will come in. Those who become disheartened or are jealous can never be happy. So if you are disheartened, you cannot be happy. If you are jealous because you are disheartened, if you are comparing with others, you cannot be happy. To be constantly happy, become free from both of these. So first of all, count your blessings. Be happy, be content, be thankful to the five elements and to God, to all the souls and then start your day ahead. Otherwise, there's going to be discontentment, unhappiness everywhere. And that's going to bring you down in the spiritual path.